Hi, I'm Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Today we're going to make a low-carb vegetable stuffed zucchini boats. Great side dish with your your meat, your main meat or whatever. It's a it's a lovely, lovely vegetable to serve with your meal. So let's get started and I'll show you how we can put it together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our zucchini out of the fridge. Now I use a Ziploc bag to put my zucchini in because I found when I put it in my crisper without a bag, they shriveled up quite quickly and I don't use them as soon as I buy them. So usually um, there's been times where they've shriveled up. So I put them in plastic bags and that makes a world of a difference. Put them in your crisper. So what we're going to do is we're going to just cut off the ends of both of the zucchinis and we're going to steam the zucchini for about five minutes. Now if you don't have a steamer, what I recommend you using is put a pot, get a pot, put an inch of water in it, and if you can, you can get these at the dollar store for a dollar, that you put in the bottom of the pot, turn on the pot, and, and steam your zucchini. You can put them on each side, steam your zucchini for five minutes. So because I have a steamer, which I picked up at, um, I think it was Walmart I had got it, and I paid about $27 or something for it. Um, I love using my steamer. I use my steamer for most of my vegetables. I use them to even steam my eggs, which is really, really awesome. So what I've done is I put water in the bottom, and I'm just going to set my, my um, zucchini in, in the steamer, and I'm going to put it on for five minutes. Now, the neat thing also is I, I like going shopping at Goodwill, bargain stores or whatever, and um, I picked one up for a dollar, a steamer. So take a look. People don't seem to be using them. I use mine all the time. Um, I have space for it, and I only paid a dollar for it, so I'm going to give that to my daughter. Anyhow, we'll let that steam. Now we've got our zucchini. I've already taken one of my zucchinis, and I've... I've um, cut them in half lengthwise and took the pulp out and put it in a dish. So I'm just going to demonstrate. I'm going to do one with you so you can see. It's not that difficult. There we go. And I just have this little um, scooper that you use to make round balls like out of watermelon or different kind of melons and I'm using that and we want to take the pulp out so we're just gonna leave a little edge to make it a boat and we're just gonna scoop this and leave about a quarter of an inch throughout um, the zucchini to make the boat. There we go. A little bit more off of this end. It's thicker. And we're going to use this pulp. So I'll just do the next one. And you, so what you're doing is you're taking out the little seeds and so you can see them in there. And we're going to use this as part of the stuffing because you don't want to waste it. Sometimes it goes really smooth and uh, strip long enough. If you don't have this, you can use a small teaspoon and it'll do the trick also. There we go. So I'm just going to chop up my pulp into smaller pieces. Excuse the telephone ring. Now we're just going to put the rest of it in the dish here. So, I'm just going to set these guys aside. And we're going to put everything together. So we're going to take a new bowl and we're going to put in one egg. And we're just going to whisk that to beat it up a bit. 
Then I'm going to put in a, a third cup of Parmesan cheese. An eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt. One minced garlic clove. A third of a cup of fine chopped onion. And it's starting to smell really good. Now I've got a half a cup of tomato sauce. Now the tomato sauce that I'm using here, it's an organic one actually. And it's um, Eden's Organic. Um, spaghetti sauce. It's a tomato sauce. You can use any kind of sauce. And the carb count for half a cup is four, four um, net carbs, which is very good for half a cup. So we're just going to put this all together. And then I have um, taken a can of diced tomatoes and I drained the tomatoes as much as I could and used about 14 ounces which was just over a, a cup it was a cup and a half of, of um, diced tomatoes it's got a little bit of herbs in there also a cup of chopped spinach so I just bought like baby spinach. I make a lot of salads out of spinach, so I bought the spinach, chopped it all up. And now we're going to add the pulp from the zucchini. We don't want to waste that. We'll put that all inside also. Oops, looks like I missed some for chopping. This is going to be a vegetable zucchini boat. It's quite nice. It will go with any kind of meats. Very, very tasty. Now, this recipe was for four small zucchinis. I'm only demonstrating with two today, so the filling that I have in here actually is enough to do four small zucchinis. So take that, you know, into count when you are making this. So all we're going to do now is we're going to fill our zucchinis and we're making the zucchini boats full of lovely vegetables. It smells absolutely delicious. It really does. So I'm going to have extras today because I um, didn't do four of them because I don't need to have four right at the moment. and. I definitely will find something to do with the rest, guaranteed. So we're going to put this in the toaster oven and I'm only doing that because it's summertime when I'm filming this and I don't really like to put on my oven. So I'm going to use my toaster oven at uh, 350 and that's going to be between 5 and 10, oh sorry, at 350 for 20 minutes. And then once we've got that, we're going to add some cheese on the top near the end. So I've heated up my toaster oven, 350, and I'm going to put these in for 20 minutes and get them cooking. My 20 minutes is up, so now I'm just going to take and put cheese on top. And normally, if you're doing four full zucchinis, you are putting on a cup of cheese. Now, they recommend, we recommend Swiss cheese, but I don't have any at the moment, and it is very, very good with the Swiss cheese. I just have um, marble cheese that I've shredded and I had in the freezer, so I'm just using what I have.
absolutely delicious and like I said it goes with any kind of meats just oh you have to try it and I'd love to hear from you so make sure you go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com and uh, leave some comments there once you have tried it absolutely delicious there we go we're gonna put that back in for five minutes and let it melt so how fun is that here is my final results of my vegetable low-carb zucchini boats they just so delicious so you don't want them to be mushy you want them to still have firmness a little bit of crisp to them it's absolutely delicious and, and the nice thing is that it it goes with any kind of meats as a vegetable the flavor is really really good I cannot say any more than that you must give it a try Go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, try out this recipe, and try out the other ones that I have. Absolutely delicious. I think you're going to enjoy. There's no meat in it. It's all vegetarian. Just a great, great recipe. You take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.